All right, welcome back everyone to the Desolate Hope Part Seven, the penultimate episode. Uh, yeah, seven hours just about in this game. Let's kick some ass. Let's finish it. Defeat all the like the bosses of the world, basically. Uh, so today has been weird. It's actually been about almost a month, actually, since I think it's been about 24 days since I last recorded or something. 23, something like that. Um, I've just been really busy, you know. Um, like I helped my cousin move. And, oh, I got back from Vegas, of course. And helped my cousin move and I was there for a little bit. And that was pretty fun. And then I was with my grandma and stuff like that. And, I'm house sitting, which whew, I have a story with that, but I'm just happy to be back. I don't think I'm gonna do any more Let's Play videos after this, or maybe in the future. But I mean, like, these aren't bagging too many views, and there isn't really like too many games I really want to play right now. So I'm sure in the future. Oh, I just realized that brain guy has one asterisk eye and one hashtag eye. That's pretty cool. So I do want to fix this because it's really important. I'm a little confused on how this a box car thing works. This has been like a month since I've played so I kind of forgot like what some of the stuff is. But we'll figure it out. It's also super late at night. And the reason because of that is uh, I'm pretty sure I'm house sitting for James. I'm pretty sure someone tried to break in, which is super freaking scary. Um, wow, I need to buy the water stuff, man. This is atrocious. Let me see. I don't remember exactly where it is, unfortunately. I know that we can buy. Some like water shoes thingies, I think is what they're called. Water boots or something like that. But you know, I was chilling. And then all of a sudden I started feeling like kind of freaked out. Um Yeah, so anyway, it was like I don't know, sometimes you just feel like you're being watched or something or like nervous. That's how I felt for like a long time. I see water boots. This shit will uh, exponentially help us. But let's let's start back at the beginning. So like a couple months ago, it was like they found like a creepy mask outside their house, and it was like one of their neighbors. It's like someone broke into their house. Bruh, the freaking day night cycle. I forgot about this shit. Oh my lord. So, yeah. Um. But it was like. I, I kind of felt freaked out for a little bit. But my mom came over today. Around like 3 or 4 o'clock. And like. I didn't notice this, but she said that. Someone like followed, like, that there was another car in the cul de sac that wasn't there before. That was like, we've never seen. And it was like, we don't know who it belonged to, but it was like a sports car. It kind of stuck out. Um, Cause I mean, it's like three people live. It's like a very nice neighborhood. And it's like, I think three people live here. There's like two other people. So it's like kind of weird. It's also like out in the forest, so it's like it was kind of sus that there was this car there that we didn't recognize. Plus, there was a bunch of um, like you know, uh, like road construction people here today, or not road construction, like a lawn care kind of dudes. But anyway, there are like a lot of weird people out and about today that normally aren't around. So. I don't know, that was one thing, but then I like kind of got this weird feeling like what I was talking about. This is some horrible uh, commentary, by the way. I'm like super tired. 
I'm not even commentating on what I'm doing, man. I'm just kind of going through the guide shit right now. I, I watched, like, the speed run on just how to get some of these upgrades, because I was really struggling with the last couple bosses. Um, and I'm saying um so much, man. It's crazy. But I, I finally, I, I was like, finally went to bed. I was listening to some music. Alright, let's kick this guy's ass. But I was listening to some music. You know, some high stress, you know, metal music like I do. And it was a song I, I've listened to a few times. Alright, this is a new guy real quick though. Intermission. New boss with new music. I'm excited. I think his name is like Varen or something. Yeah, Viren. And he looks like the sun for some reason. I don't really get it. He's pretty cool. You can see this first rendition of him is super easy. Um, but okay, other side quest real quick. Tangent, you could say. I was watching a loot video, and it was a super fucking annoying one. He was being really boring and all political and stuff, but he mentioned this game, and I was like, oh yeah. But anyway. Uh, I kept on, I thought I heard like a, like voices or something, you know, I thought I was having like a schizo mode. But I kept on hearing stuff from like, a song that I didn't recognize, kind of. And I like take my headphones out and go, what was that? For like a few minutes, and I, I started getting really nervous. Like I was like super on edge. And then all of a sudden the dog started freaking out. And this dog was like barking and running around. He doesn't normally do that. So I was like really freaking out. So then I was like, I walked around very quietly and very slowly. Um, kind of, you know, low to the ground. I grabbed a super sharp kitchen knife. I still have it with me right now. But I mean, it's like super, super sh nice and sharp. And I was like holding it. And I was like climbing around like the Viet Cong. I felt really cool. And I was like, I was actually turning off all the lights so I could see outside and like hide in the shadows a little bit more. Apparently. Then I started hearing a beeping noise. And it's like, I don't know, I think they have an alarm for the house. I don't know what, I've never heard this beeping noise. It might have just been like the refrigerator or some shit. Maybe I didn't close the freezer all the way or something, I don't know, but... I heard like this loud ass beat. Damn. Look at that, that was so easy. So then I let the dog outside, because he wanted to go outside and check that out. So I let him outside. He was like howling and freaking out. I've never seen him do that before. It's definitely, he was barking at one thing because it was in like one direction. So he was barking at something. It might have been like a Wendigo or a real animal. I don't know. All right. That virus was super easy. What are you talking about? Uh, a moon? Okay. I don't really get it. <sighs> Crazy. Okay, so back to the story, back to the story. Oh, nothing here. Okay, cool. So, yeah, then I was just kind of freaking out. And it was scary. And I feel like there's one more part to it. Oh, yeah. So, the thing is... Is that A, I left the same lights on that I've been leaving on at night. So, it kind of looks like I was trying to make it look like someone was home. But the shit that scared me is that I've been like, uh... You know, like... House sitting, obviously. So the car is parked out front. That's like a different car that's, you know... There from... Compared to, like, normal. So... The thing is, my mom needs the car. 
So she drove it back. My dad dropped her off and she drove that car. So it looked like I wasn't there. Because I didn't do anything with the lights. I didn't do anything, you know, with the car. There wasn't any car there. So it kind of looked like no one was home. And that was the thing that scared the shit out of me. It made me feel like, whoa, what the heck? Because it's like, I, mean, I sleep here all the time. Plus, I've house sat for them like several times. I've never seen Bo freak out like this. That's the dog's name. And it was like super freaking weird. So I've definitely seen him bark at deer and stuff because there are a lot of deer and animals around. But I don't know, it's freaky. Also, I have like locked into this game. Like I'm just I'm popping off right now, man. It's almost like a rhythm game sometimes. Not gonna lie. And these are space lasers are doing a number. Anyway, it was freaky. Because it was like in the moment, my, my retelling of it sounds a lot more like I was a crazy redneck. You know, I am a crazy white trash redneck. My family is. We're always, you know, going on about aliens and stuff. But uh, holy crap, man! It felt. The thing was, is that like the two cats and the dog were both like freaking out. That was the one thing. Shit, man! I hate this attack. Look, this guy's already like halfway through his health, man. He's easy peasy. He may like, actually be able to beat beat this like today. I don't know. For me at least. But I don't know, it was just, you know. It freaked me out, because I honestly thought someone was like breaking in. Whatever. <sighs> it's over though. We're chilling like villains. Whatever. Before that, though, I was introduced to the wonderful world of Steve Rambo. It was very interesting. I'd never heard of this guy. He's a gay porn star. And <laughs> uh, it's like old YouTube poop videos, man, but somehow I missed them. But the most popular one is the oh shit thing. Or walks in on the guy, like, I don't even know, peeing or something? He's like, my daddy told me to not rip the skin or something. Oh, he was like, no, he was like, he was like, it's okay that you walked in on me. My daddy told me to not be ashamed of my massive penis or something like that. It was like a really funny clip. And uh, the guy, Steve Rambo, replied, I mean, they like talked a little bit, and then he's like, well, my daddy told me a special way to do it with your mouth instead of your hand. And he was like, will you show me? He's like, yeah, darn tootin' will. <laughs> it's like really funny. It was like young YouTube, so obviously they didn't show like what happened next, but... He's, I don't know, there's like this huge series of like weird gay porn from like the 90s that is like really funny. So I was like watching clips of that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Awkward, right? Speaking of awkward, ever heard of Agnes Lum or Loom? I swear to God, that was like the perfect lady right there. Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put her on the thumbnail. If I put big boobs on the thumbnail. I noticed that they the videos do a little better. If I put Grotos, the videos don't do very well. So. Put Agnes Loom right on the front. She's the girl that she was like the first cat girl, basically. She's really cool though. Look at that. Beat his booty hole. Uh, what else? I kind of want to try a game called Baroque. It looks very interesting. I've never heard of it until the new Magilar video, of course, dropped yesterday about the Sega Saturn. Never really been into the Sega Saturn. I like the Dreamcast. But I was kind of starting to think maybe I made the wrong choice and obscure Sega console to attach to. Okay, another piece saved. Cool beans. Um, 
Okay. A body. Wow, is this like some allegory for abortion stuff? Who knows? I don't. <laughs> But yeah, this game, there's two versions, which is very interesting to me. There's a Wii slash PS2 version, and then there's a Sega Saturn slash PS1 version of this game. But it looks very incredible. It's like a, it's a roguelike, which I actually really don't like those, but it's like kind of worked into the plot and it seems pretty interesting. I love the art style, the character designs look right at my alley, kind of like 40k claymation sort of shit. And it's like, I've not heard too much music, but it sounds really awesome. I was probably going to jam out to some of that later today, tonight. Um, I don't know, but the vibe of it just looks incredible. It looks like super duper, super up my alley. Almost reminds me of this game, like the uh, Lunus Infinis station kind of looks like that but apparently it's I think it's pretty uh, difficult to find I mean the game is very difficult but I think it's also hard to find um, there are a bunch of games that are really cool like all the oh, shoot I already forgot man I'm blanking right now it's like dragon saga or something that game is like thousands of dollars because it was so rare but I don't know, it's super cool. I'm thinking about getting a Japanese PS2, because I believe it's backwards compatible with the PS1. Maybe I'm stupid. But there's so many weird Japanese PS2 games I want to play, because I was really hoping that the Dreamcast would have more weird Japanese games. I always thought it had tons, because I already I saw like a few... Um, but then it was like, I actually looked at the catalog and I, I have a Dreamcast and a lot of the games are either super rare or like stupid hentai games, man. There's so many stupid, this guy is kicking my ass, what the heck. There's so many stupid hentai games for the Dreamcast that don't have boobs or any nude stuff. Why play a hentai game that's cut out all of the porn? I mean, why play a hentai game, right? Ooh, dude, I just finessed this guy. I don't really like... I don't, I don't play hentai games. I, I've played one, you know, hentai puzzle game that was kind of cool. Reminded me of Mario and Luigi. Oh my lord. I just fucking got pwned. Ooh, what's this shit? Okay. I forgot about these. But... Dude, I don't know. It is, it is rough out there. But it's like, I don't know. They're like boring high school dating sims. With no etchy. Like, what the... Why Why play that? Urgh, I sound like a fucking... I don't even want to say it. Loser guy. I sound like a loser guy. Yeah, there's been so much crazy stuff going on in the world. Like, all the Trump business. And Joe Biden dropping out. That's been crazy. What else? Um, the thing I was trying to say. All this Mr. Beast stuff, man, is crazy. Like, I literally watched that pizza video, man. You can see that, like, lowly hentai in the background. Like, that, that shit is wild, man. And, like, all this stuff about him, like kind of faking-ish his videos people being like paid actors I don't know it's kind of sad but I've never actually been a fan of Mr. Beast because I always kind of suspected something like that I feel like his videos are faked so I was never like I never got into those but apparently it sounds like that's true that they are faked or most of them are semi-faked I mean, like I said, though, in a couple videos, Jane Animations is, like, totally, like, celebrity crush for me, basically. Well, now it's uh, Steve Rambo, of course, but my old celebrity crush was, like, basically Jane Animations. I know that's, like, such a 
12 year old little boy answer, but that's basically what I am. Um, so, you know, I'm happy for her that she won. Or whatever, but like. You know, whatever. Real quick though, creepy insult tangent. She is like the perfect lady for me. Like, in my opinion. She fucking threw a wad of money at Jake Paul. Like, hell yeah, you go girl. Throw that money at Jake Paul. The Logan Paul. I don't even know, man. Also, real quick, no context. I'm so fucking tired of racism. Like, I, I cannot stand racism right now. Zero tolerance for racism. I wish we'd stop talking about it. That's all the context I'm giving for that. I know I'm just, like, kind of spitballing random topics right now, but that's just my vibe. You know, I've not really... I've not recorded in so long, and I've been super busy. I've been going, going, going. I still don't have a job. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Yeah, also, this guy, of course. We love him. That is value for sure. Um, I need to think about this, but yeah, I've just been like traveling, man. It sounds super high right now. Also, transformers are awesome. I have. I've gotten back into those figures, man. I That's like my uh, fixation. Man, this static effect is getting very old. Okay, let's retry this guy. Yeah, I kind of want to get the Armada Optimus Prime. I normally try and buy figures like in store, but I never saw that one because you know, most retailers don't carry them. Commander class figures anymore. Which really, really sucks. But people already are scalping that figure, man. That shit came out like basically a year ago. It also really sucks because uh, I don't even know. This Stegosaurus Dinobot figure. It's not even like come out in America, man. I can't get it. Like, what's the deal with that? Because Swoop is like come out, and I think he's a little bit more uh, easy to get. Oh my gosh, I'm, I know I'm out of battery, man. I'll, I'll plug my computer in after this boss fight. That should be about perfect. How much battery I got left? 10%, we're chilling. Let me fight V3 here, and we will be chilling like a villain. I'm also getting supremely tired. I was hoping to finish this video tonight. Now I don't think I'll be able to. I think I'm a little, a little too tight tie for this. This music is crazy though. All right, we're already a third of the way done with this clown. See, look what some, some patience and upgrades can do. I love how this game, it's like it can change, the tide of battle can change in like five seconds. It's a very interesting game for sure. One of a kind. I don't know. I do feel like I don't like. I feel like with video games, sometimes you can kind of separate the art from the artist. But there's definitely a political kind of message in this game. It's not super subtle. I don't know. That's kind of, it's like... I'm not going to comment on my opinion on the message. But it's like, kind of, I don't like putting politics in media. I know a lot of people disagree with that. But, I mean, I think certain media definitely should have politics. You know, I love Harold and Kumar, Escape from Guantanamo Bay, but... We have like an awesome-ass story, especially if it's like in a fictional world. I hate it when you insert like modern politics in there, man. But like, yeah, with Harold and Kumar, it's like it's supposed to take place in the real world, and it's like a stupid, you know, comedy movie. So it's not really supposed to 
tell like a super convincing story, you know? Dude, you gotta chill out with this move. Also, the med pod, I've not really been using it. <laughs> it is uh, so overpowered. It basically just makes it so you cannot get negative effects. It's insane. But this guy is, we totally, we pwned. We pwned his booty. He's demolished. Come on, a few seconds. This music has like my heart rate up, man. I feel like I'm about to have a panic attack right now. Space lasers, space lasers. Come on, just kill him, kill him. Brrr, he's almost dead. Just wallop, wallop, anything. No. If I die or something, I don't think. Yeah, I'll be fine. Whew. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, hello everyone. <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed the audio difference. Um, hopefully it sounds good. I found my old microphone and I'm actually recording a little over a month slash, or a month <laughs> since the last recording session is what I meant to say. So I, I hope you enjoy. I'm not gonna remember what the hell is going on in this game, but we're chilling. I'm super happy I found my microphone. The, uh, I put it in fucking paper storage for some dumb reason. Because the right, oh, I think it just hit the mic, whoopsie. The right, uh, like, headset thing doesn't work. And this is so, like, virgin, but these are, like, my Fortnite headphones. So, I just, I was just like, well, they don't work anymore. Might as well get rid of them. I mean, without throwing them away. I might take a look at it, though, because if I imagine um, you adjust the headset like pretty aggressively, it's on a ratchet, so I feel like maybe it just yanked the, the cord out or something. It's pretty cheap. I mean, it's $20. It's from China. I love China, though. Don't get me wrong. So let's see. Um, house sitting again, ironically. Different people this time. I've done several house sitting jobs, actually. That's the only work I've been doing. Um, I want to kind of work at Spirit Halloween. There's one right next to my house um, for the first time in maybe 10 years or so. Epic cut, I know, right? I'm really good at editing and stuff. But yeah, as I was saying, um, it's in a different spot, though, but I've not had a spirit like within 30 minutes of my house for the longest time. And, you know, I like working there sometimes. I'm not sure if the district manager, which I know her name, I'm not going to name drop her though. I'm not sure if she would let me work again because me and one of the assistant managers left right before Halloween because it's super dumb that you have to work basically all day Halloween. Every employee does. Because it's really not like that busy of a day. It's going to be the days leading up to it that are more busy. Especially, I think, the day, like, the, the 29th and the 30th are pretty bad. Oh, I sound like Kamala Harris. I'm like, uh, <laughs> need to take some, need to drink some water. Um, so that really sucks, in my opinion. And she was basically threatening me, saying, like, last time, that I might not be able to work in this town ever again. And she didn't allow the uh, assistant manager to come back. The assistant manager, I mean, I love her. She's really cool, but she's a little cagey and unreliable sometimes, so I could kind of understand not letting her back. I'm pretty reliable, but I'm also an agent of chaos, so I could also understand not bringing me back. I feel like I'm actually going crazy, though. Alright, this is super important, by the way. We're doing a little epic side quest. Um, that's why we're out here and ignoring everything. 
I, I didn't know about this. This is super arbitrary. Um, I might have looked some things up. Shh, shh, shh. Because, I mean, I was a little lost in the sauce, honestly. And these, I think, Viren, right? These Viren boss fights are getting really tough, so... We're gonna try and use all the help we can get. Alright, so... We have to click... I don't know how the hell you're supposed to figure this out. I'm clicking. You can't see my mouse, but I'm clicking. Yeah, there we go. Epic. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out. Man, I love the atmosphere of this game. One game I really want to try is Baroque. The game looks crazy. I think it's based on the period slash Japanese word I think is Baroku which means like um, I think abnormal I'm pretty sure what I'm so confused that it's like shape I think this has to do with yep there we go got our boy also like I said before I think I'm not gonna fight the secret boss it is like Any like secret thing in one of Scott Coffin's games is gonna be ridiculous. There's a bunch of FNAF stuff, you know. I'm not really into FNAF. I just played all the games. There's been a bunch of news on that since I recorded last time. Into the Pit, which actually looks pretty fun. Well, a little bit. I, I don't love the art style. I actually preferred the um, the betas. Or the, I guess it's the alpha. That art style where it definitely looks like a SNES game on steroids. SNES, sorry. Where, like, now it looks pretty modern and the UI is, like, normal and then the graphics are pixely. I don't like that mixture. I know that's, like, super loser, but, you know, whatever. I forgot how insane this game is. How did I... How? How did I play this game? It's like headache inducing, just looking at it. I don't know. Anyway, Baroque is the vibe of that game. It kind of reminds me of this one. And not Baroque for the Wii. It's for the Sega Saturn or PlayStation 1, I think. Wait, is it PS1 or PS2? I'm actually going to look it up real quick. PS2, unfortunately. I temporarily have a PS1, I'm borrowing it from my cousin, kinda sorta. Um, next time I hang out with her, I'm gonna give it back. I love the music here. Anyway, uh, I would love to play Baroque. It's just, I don't have a PS2, and uh, I'm actually not a huge fan of emulation. And, fucking, Vim's layer got taken down. The music is so hard to hear. But look, now we have a fifth party member, kinda sorta. Of. Hopefully he'll help us out. Just look at that health bar. But yeah, I can't believe Vim's layer got taken down. I know it sounds like a porn site, but it's actually it was the best place to get bombs because it was super cheap. Not cheap, but like what am I trying to say? It was safe is the biggest thing. It was safe and easy to use, I guess is what I meant by cheap. But I mean, it's just... It was super user-friendly, really nice, really safe. Some of the ROMs were a little... They didn't always work, but that might have been my end. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know where to even start with the ROM of the game. I think I have a PS2 emulator, though. I have a lot of emulators. I... Got a DS Lite from James. I'm actually gonna buy him Sakura today for his birthday. Hand back. And as birthday present. 
Normally we don't get each other gifts that expensive, but I mean, we got the BS lights for him. Give me two. His mind's super broken because the BS light is like fucking shitty. Oh my god, the music is insane, guys. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be exciting. But I've been playing, I mostly got it to play a GBA games, kind of. Well, it's a long story. I wanted to play Partners in Time. But I couldn't really find a cheap copy. The uh, North American version is, for whatever reason, really expensive. I hate this tag. It is so stupid. I gotta like, hack it every time. We're freaking loaded on hack chips right now. I have four left. So chill. Only about a quarter of the way done with the fight, though. Hopefully, I can speed this up. This game's really about getting into a rhythm. But I want to play that game, so I bought. It was a really stupid thing on my end. I bought a PAL version from someone in London or something. I didn't notice because he didn't say it in the description, so I didn't think about it until I hit purchase. So I accidentally bought a PAL version. And I read on the official Nintendo website DS eyes are region free. But uh, mine wasn't that way. I'm still actually not sure, embarrassingly enough. Everyone says no, but. I don't know, I'm, I'm reading conflicting things, and I've not done enough tests. Because the version I got, the copy, it's always weird when someone says no returns on eBay. It's kind of a red flag. Um, but I bought it anyway, because it's super cheap. And this version, it works, but it's kind of weird. Pins were, like, really rusty, and I'm pretty good at fixing consoles, but... Wow, I never realized that the strike meter goes, like, super... <laughs> It's like unaligned, that's so bad. What are they thinking? Like the six and it's like the seven is off the fucking button. It's so stupid. But what was I saying? I didn't even realize this is the last Viren fight. That's why he's so difficult. This is the penultimate boss, everyone. This is insane. What was I? Oh my gosh, I'm like, I'm not having my espresso today. I'm tripping out. I'm going through, like, I'm tweaking out right now. Um, yes, the yeses. So the cartridge was not reading, and I, I kind of got it cleaned up. Like, I, oh yeah, I'm really good at cleaning video game stuff most of the time. But there's like, the DS cartridges are so tiny. You can't, it's really hard to sometimes get certain pins. Oh my gosh, this guy's freaking me out. Ah oh. oh, shit, I hate the reverse. Because the space lasers will just sometimes kill you. It's out of my control. But. I like losing my train of thought. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I'm gonna need an ample fritter, guys. You now reference. Guys, yeah, getting on my nerves, though. Anyway, okay. It works now, but it crashes a lot, which is kind of frustrating. Anyway, I was struggling to get my DS light to work. I tried fixing it a little bit. He uses tri wing screws, though, and I actually don't have a tri wing screwdriver, which really sucks. So I can only dismantle certain parts of it. Um, but James, actually, I asked just because I was like, I want to test the battery to see if it's the battery that's broken. And he was like, you can just keep them. I have two. So that was a huge, oh, like, like gangster moment. I appreciate him. Shout out to him. Uh, check out Chum Zone. Shout out to James. Check him out on Chum Zone. Chum Zone. The YouTube channel. It's not the Chum Zone, it's Chum Zone. It's gonna be a picture of a Nisei from Persona 4, which I actually did, <laughs> embarrassingly enough. 
Oh my gosh, we're finally halfway with this stupid boss. Uh, it's growing, man. It's really pretty to look at, though. I like how the colors. <laughs> but, I don't know, It's I, I finally got it to work. It's a little annoying, but... The three DS lights combined kind of got together a working one. It's... It was a mess, but, you know, we got to work. I am about to die, but we're chilling now. I love how every hit in this game almost kills you. It's ridiculous. Now the music, I'm not getting over it. The music is awesome. I'm jamming out. But, there's also been a lot of GBA games that I want to try out, so... Since the DS Lite has a GBA reader, I played Wireland 4, which... That game was fucking awesome. I literally beat it the next day I played it again. Like, it was awesome. And it also has a hard mode, which... I kinda wish you could pick and choose what you want from the hard mode, because it adds extra enemies. It changes where all the treasure and stuff is located. And it shortens the time limits. I think the shortened time limits with the easy mode layouts of the map would be perfect. Because in easy mode, they give you way too much time for everything. I mean, it's like, the simplest levels you'll get, like, uh, four to five minutes a lot of times. It's just like, you know, a lot of times I won't even get past the beat dropping in the song. I would get to the end so quickly. But I appreciate, I really appreciate the heavy option. I feel like the game is really ahead of its time. And a very one of the kind. I also figure out what Med Beacon does. It's really good. <laughs> Just ignores status effects. Which is busted. I don't know why I wasn't using it before. Thank god, you know, no one watches these or else I'd be getting a bunch of comments that are like, You didn't use Med Beacon. Um, I didn't actually know this. The DS Lite is completely region free. So I feel like a fucking god. I can play any region of DS game now. And I don't know, actually, if you guys know, let me let me know in the comments. But I'm not sure if the DS Lite is region free when it comes to GBA games. I imagine it is. But I don't know enough about GBA games. I'm actually pretty ignorant on them for whatever reason. I'm kind of fumbling right now. Also, in fantasy football, I'm kicking ass. I'm not gonna elaborate. I just want you guys to know. I'm kicking ass. Alright. What are you doing, silly guy? Silly dog. I'm watching you. You're a silly guy. You're a silly guy. I'm so hungry. I was gonna maybe have lunch with my dear mother, but she won't write to me. She's leaving me on red, bruh. She's not. She actually. It's not her. Probably still asleep. It's Sunday. So yeah, that whole DS fiasco has been great. Um, I haven't really been doing a lot, honestly. I rearranged my room like a shit ton. I got this badass TV stand. I've been cleaning a lot of stuff. I reorganized all my Legos, which is super lame. But you know, I've really stopped giving a shit about what people think. You just gotta be yourself, honestly. Man, I'm curious. I never noticed this little, like, dancing play ball. Does that mean that our fifth party member is ready to launch? Yeah, look at that. The med you can just totally block that shit. It's so embarrassing that I wasn't using that. Uh, whatever. It's fine. I'm so excited for the end of this game. We're so close. Epic. Um, I've been playing some F Zero X, and by some I mean I played it like twice, but it's really, really cool. I'm a huge fan of that game. I've been working on my life on Mars setup. It's almost 100% complete. There's some few figures, a few pieces. 
and like the small poly bag sets. I think I have all the box sets except for one, but I don't really care. It's like the the meeting or whatever it's called. But I have most of the cool sets and like the Martian stuff, so that's that's all I really care about. Great theme. Definitely one of my favorites. It's one of the only themes I've ever set for. I know it's one of the smallest themes, but I still have every every set. If I die now, I'm actually gonna shit my pants. I'm gonna shit blood. Can we just say that it's travesty that we didn't get a very important house? I love Jonathan and all this stuff. Vader Zim was like my show back in the day. I um, really like Disney. I hate Disney. Shit with the, the cold with like the thief and the cobbler too. I cannot stand Disney, man. Oh my lord. I know that came out of nowhere. <laughs> um, I've been watching a lot of animation, which maybe we will talk about in the next video. Because we're almost done with this guy. God, he is on the ropes. I need that med beacon though. We're dying. That reverse status effect is so bad. Because I have so many automatic attacks, and every time I attack him, it does damage to me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, just use the strike on him. Just get him out of the way. Oof. The relief you get in this game, you gotta lock in like crazy. The music's pumping, there's so many things happening at once. And then the box just boom. It's such a relief. Oh yeah, Nikocado, that's crazy. There's a twig now. Oh my gosh, we have one thing left, guys, and then we are done. A flower. Pink whale petals. Hmm. I don't know. Or maybe we are the virus all along. The virus is the friends we made along the way. Oh, here's my mother. Ooh, got him. Man, I'm gonna have to put the dog in the crate for when I go. If I get lunch with me, mom. Oh, they already had lunch. What the fuck? Wow. That kind of busts my balls. Thanks, mom. Ugh. Anyway, I thought this said Sigma. Holy crap, I have brain rot. Holy crap. Wow. Well, that sucks. I don't want to go outside. I don't want to be a part of society, guys. I've become a shut-in. i got to go to GameStop. I don't want to... Oh, yeah, also this guy's like... A Twist villain or something? Okay. Oh yeah, this is like a metaphor for like abortion and shit. So think about it if you want. You know, I think it's cool that people can say what they want freedom of speech I'm happy though um, one of the only things left in the files of the game of the game is like this political tangent <laughs> that was supposed to play at the end it was like a big paragraph I'm happy he took that out and he just left the game like fictional if that makes sense all right there we go the big bad um, I don't know, I'm just also kind of sick of politics, low-key. The election's coming up, and, you know, everyone's just being so dramatic and over-the-top. And I'm just so tired of it. I cannot. Bro, this guy is yapping. Holy crap. Bro is going to off himself. Pepper steak. <laughs> so bad. Oh, I'm starving. 
Alright, well join me next time guys. Last episode.